Hi, a Filipino wife abroad here. Some of you might be returning and checking on today's topic, or perhaps this new video came across your screen and my thumbnail caught your attention. Hey, whatever your reason is, welcome and welcome back. I've been seeing numerous videos lately where the content creators have expressed their strong opposition to taking a Filipina to the Westerners' home country. If you listen to these YouTubers, there appears to be a movement where people are espousing never to bring your Filipina back to your home country. Well, I get it. The Western men are concerned about the Filipinas' transition to the Western world and how they may change over time. I am reminded of this old saying that goes, a woman marries a man hoping he'll change and a man marries a woman hoping she never changes. Well, I believe that in many cases, the woman is not changing. Just she's managing the expectations she had prior to coming to the U.S. versus the expectations the man thought she had prior to her arrival. Many of these mismatched expectations can be fixed, though, like having a simple conversation with the Filipina or asking simple questions to her future husband about their life together. Most Filipinas either don't know what questions to ask or they are uncomfortable asking those questions or they just assume that there is a perfect alignment in the future with husband because they assume that their future husband will think and behave like a Filipino husband would think and behave, which is never the case. So guys, today I'm going to go through my top questions a Filipina should ask her future husband prior to moving to his home country. So for you Western man, if your Filipina hasn't asked you these questions directly yet, you need to take the initiative and have this discussion with them to help manage both of your expectations upon their arrival. If your expectations are aligned, you stand a much higher chance of a successful long-term relationship. So let's get started. But remember, these are the questions a Filipina should ask her future husband, okay? First question, what are the future husband's financial responsibilities? Does he support his children from a previous marriage if he is divorced? Does he have a house? Well, nothing's wrong if you live with his parents when you get to the U.S., but that might surprise and disappoint you since that's not what we think of the American culture. What level of debt does he have? And most importantly, what level of financial support does he provide for his ex-wife? And be prepared for a discussion about your legal and moral requirements. If your Filipina comes to the U.S. and realizes that most of the money being made is going to an ex-wife or children from a previous marriage without her understanding why, it'll cause a lot of problems, of course, particularly with a jealous Filipina. Okay, so the next question could be, what's his future plan for you? Does he want you to work or just stay home even without kids? Many Filipinas will not understand that their future mate may want a stay-home wife and doesn't need her to work. This is a foreign concept to the typical Filipina and you better have the discussion or she may be very unhappy about staying at home and not helping out with the finances and having access to her own money. All right, so the next question could be, what are the setups for the non-Filipino bank accounts? Will she have independent access to funds? So for the Western men listening to this video, please remember that this shows a level of respect and trust. Filipinas need to know that they are not always going to be 100% dependent upon their spouses for every purchase or little need. All right, so next question could be, this is particularly important for the Filipina who is the breadwinner in her family and makes decent money. What level of support will her future husband provide to the family in the Philippines? So this needs to be discussed and agreed upon early in the courtship process so the man understands the expectations of the woman and her family. 
Usually, a mutually agreeable solution can be obtained long before the Filipina is on a plane heading to the husband's home country. All right, so the next question could be, does the husband want to have more children? If yes, will the mom continue to work? And will the child need to go to daycare? If the answer is no to more kids, I would strongly encourage the Western man to make sure that the Filipina is truly okay with this. As we all know, most Filipinas want children, even if they say they don't. Okay, next question could be, if the two of you agreed that the Filipina will work in the new home country, what's the arrangement for the household bills? Would the Filipina be expected to cover a certain percentage of all the household costs or is the money she makes be her own money and spent independent of household bills? Okay, next question could be, if the Filipina plans to continue her education, who will pay for the cost of this education? Will the future husband commit to paying for these expenses? Or will the Filipina be expected to work and earn her own funds for her education? Next, does the future husband have long-term plans for the couple? Or is he more of a fly-by-his-seat type of person? In my case, my husband had planned on buying a home for the two of us when I moved here. Proceed with trying to having a child together, purchase a condo in the Philippines, and eventually plan on buying land for a future home with the possibility of us moving to the Philippines when we retire. So this discussion needs to be mentioned, and in my case, my husband has been true to his word. I'm grateful to him every day. Happy wife, happy life. You know, some men just go with the flow and don't really have a plan and that works for some women, but either way, a discussion needs to be done. So my final question for today is regarding the husband's support for petitioning the family. You know, once a Filipina becomes a citizen or immigration allows it. This is a question that I'm constantly asked from other Filipinos. When am I going to petition my family? And even if the American doesn't think that, it's going to be a significant issue. I promise you. It'll be a source of gossip inside of the barangay where the woman's family lives. This is actually not unique to the Philippines. I have read that even Melania Trump negotiated this with Donald Trump when she decided to marry him and migrated to the U.S. After she became a U.S. citizen, and of course, with the support of Donald Trump, she petitioned her entire family to move to the U.S. So it happens everywhere and with people of all social statuses. If your Filipina hasn't asked you these questions yet, or you haven't brought it up, then you are not prepared to bring the Filipina to your home country. Having this discussion will allow the Filipina to determine red flags for her future mate and will provide valuable insights into the Filipina's expectations for their new life in the U.S. Successful relationships is all about managing expectations. Unrealistic expectations often lead to quick divorces, but realistic expectations are foundational for, of course, successful marriages. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit like and subscribe if you want to see more contents like this. And if there are more questions that you think I should include, please add them to the comment section below. And I will include them in a part two of this video. So see you guys again next week and thank you for watching. Bye.